Hey everyone, welcome back. We're here with my Khajiit with his stupid helmet on in the middle of Skyrim. We're sort of, I think we're closest to Iverstead. No, not even close to Iverstead. Uh, kind of like in that, well, you can see where we're at. But... Right now, we're just wandering around and finding fun stuff to do. Leveling the character up secretly, kind of. So that way, when I actually start doing the quest line, I'll be able to just smash everything in my path. So, until that moment comes, let's explore and see what fun things that we can do. Looks like there's a a watchtower up there. It's unmarked too. Let's go check it out. Wolves. Oh, I'll take those. Let's see. Okay, I'm getting kind of close to my weight limit here. So I actually think that I'm going to fast travel to Falkreath and craft a bunch of leather bracers and sell them to the merchant guy so I can level up my smithing because why not okay good for you buddy good for you Alright, so, we should have a lot of leather to, uh, to go through here. I like how you gain weight when, uh, skinning the leather. Like, you know, you're removing the fur from it, and yet you're like, gaining a pound of additional weight. Because that makes sense. Um, leather, and just a bunch of leather braces. There we go. Wonder if I can do any jewelry. I can do some silver stuff. I'll do a silver ruby ring, a silver garnet ring. It would really be nice if I had uh, the spell Transmutate, so I could um, convert that silver into gold, but I don't have that spell yet, because I haven't specialized in alteration. And it is 7 a.m. in Skyrim time, so that little blacksmith guy's not going to be out yet, but he should be out now. There he is. Dude, your eyes give me some creepy looks, man. Don't do that. No. Or deal some damage. There we go. Um, I also don't think I'm going to need these or these. I need to find an enchantment table so I can sell a lot of my junk. Yeah, whatever, buddy. You do you. Let's see, where's the Jarl's longhouse? Right there. Alright. I'm the steward here. I serve under Jarl Sidgear and Jarl Dengear before him. Let's see, we definitely want the burning. We want the destruction. We want the frost resistance. We want the conjuration. I'm still using the lock picking. And I'm still using that. Um, we want the shock resistance. I think I'm actually wearing those right now. So we're going to keep those on. So. Hmm. Okay. 
I'm not going to talk to you because you're a spoiled little brat and you sent me down to Riften to get you a bit of Brackmire mead. And I don't pander to people like you. So. Huh. Although if I do pander to people like him, then he'll let me build a house. So. Albeit the Hearthfire expansion is a very, very tedious expansion. So. <sighs> Hearthfire was a little bit of a disappointment in my eyes. How much, uh, how much carry weight did I free up? Let's see, what else do I have in here that's taking up a lot of space? I could probably sell a lot of these potions, or just through time use them, so there's that. Hmm. If I had more salt, I could sell my food, or cook my food into actual meals. That'd be cool. Um, I don't think I need those. So I'm going to go a little bit further away from the town and drop them off behind this rock while crouching and sneaking. Because I don't want the guards to come up and be like, hey, don't leave that there because someone might trip on them and get hurt. If you don't pick it up, we're going to find you. Or one of the villagers running up to me like, are you going to use that? Can I have it? Are you, are you going to leave that there? Can I have it? And then they pick it up and it's like, dude, really? Just, um... Stop. <laughs> Up here was where I got the absolute crap scared out of me a couple episodes ago. So, I think I'm going to go and... Uh, let's see. I want to avoid this area because I don't want to start the main quest line like at all. I kind of just want to chill and do my own thing. So I think I'm going to go back down here. Oh, this is somewhat a high level area, but I, whatever. So we were going to go to this watchtower down this way. So let's go do that. And see what kind of fun adventures and shenanigans we can uh, get ourselves into. So right off the bat, just from across the lake here, I can see some bandits wandering around. Can they see me? Is there like a, a fight going on down there that I'm not privy to? Can't tell. Okay, with that alert in my presence, that's for sure. It's kind of a long shot, but if I hit one of them, that'll be pretty cool. Arrows are probably landing down there somewhere, though, so I don't really think this is working. Yeah, I think I'm too far away. No, no, no. Uh, I uh, accidentally right-clicked there. This is a little bit of an easier shot to make from across here. Let's see if any of them are uh, foolish enough to expose themselves. I'm sneaking. I'm sneaking. Also, as a little bit of a reminder, if you uh, haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and whatnot, because... Yeah. Um. Did you have anything good on you? Lockpick. 
and an iron arrow. Am I still using my, uh, oops, I didn't mean to bash there. No. Oh shoot, right there. <sighs> All right. That is not an entrance, but I do see some rock formations that I can use to my advantage. So we're going to go do that. Alright. Oh. There's one. Right there. Not really a clear shot, though. If I can sneak an arrow through that, uh... Little opening there, though. Oh, there's that guy. Ugh. Nope. Sometimes I'm like really good at archery, then other times I'm like super bad, but there's never an in between. Like, never an in between. It's always like either I'm really good or really bad. Don't call me a cat, I'm a Khajiit, that's racist. I mean, we're technically a subspecies of cat, but I mean, it's still not very nice. I mean, kind of. I mostly just use a bow and arrow, but I could use swords if you want me to. So, it's mostly up to you, but it seems that, you know, all I had was all I needed. Eh, I got close. Maybe. There's really no telling if that was... No, that was probably one of her arrows. Oh, whoops. My bad. Stop. I always like try to predict where they're gonna be, but then like the AI is like, no, I'm gonna stop right here and then turn immediately. And it's like, I'm wrong. Hmm. I don't see other nuisances, so I'm gonna move in here and see what else I can find, because after all, I am just here to kill things. Did that do anything fun? No, oh, it opened the gate over there. Okay. Well. Let's wander inside here and see uh, what we can get. There's some bandits this way. I can hear them. But I want what's over in here first.
Let's see, we only got two. Three. I missed one. Come on. Are you blind? You are something special. You triggered your own trap. You played yourself. I, I mean, if you haven't really seen any of my, any of my other episodes, I, uh, I kind of talked about how I used to always play as a warrior build and always kind of run in head first with uh, two Daedric axes. I'm trying to do something a little bit more um, interesting this playthrough that's not based around um, that's not based around trying to just run and kill and actually, you know, try to do something that requires a little bit more skill than a hack and slash. So there's two directions I can go, either up the stairs or into this little uh, alley down here. And that seems like that's where it's going to want to direct me to. So I'm going to take a wander up here and see what kind of fun stuff I can kill. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Dude, open your eyes. It's not that hard to spot me. I'm the Khajiit wearing a stupid horned helmet. Like, the arrow literally went over your head and you were like, oh, what was that? Come on, man. Come on. At least make it... Uh-oh. No. No one is here at all, my dude. Everything is good. Everything is good. Everything is good. Everything is good. Okay. I do have a way out of this, just in case if things don't go the way I want it to. Let's see if I have any, of the, any poisons that might be able to kind of assist me. I think I'm going to do some frostbite venom. And then I'm going to try to do a sneak attack here. There goes the mage. And a hit on the bandit chief. I don't know if the poison it lasts for a double hit or not. So. I hit or miss. I guess they never hit. Yeah. You've got to be kidding me. Stop moving. No, you didn't. You're good. Don't worry, dude. It's all good in the hood. You're ridiculous. You deserved that death. I will be taking that. And I'll be selling all your stuff. Because steel armor is worth a lot of money. Ooh. Goodies. Lots of goodies. Lots and lots of goodies. Um, okay, I've already read that book apparently, but I'll still sell it. And I read this one apparently, but I'm still going to sell it. Um, I'll take all of this stuff that's worth money. That has a decent gold value to weight ratio. Let's see if I can disenchant anything that would uh, actually be worth disenchanting. Such as this necklace of sure grip. I don't... 
Although, I can kind of see a moment where I might be using that uh, Orcish Battle, or Orcish Greatsword, I might need that. So I guess I'll keep that for now. But this Minor Smithing, I definitely can uh, disenchant and get the Fortify Smithing. So while I can level up, I'm going to save it for the middle of combat when I just need to... Oh, I could have dropped the, the oil on his head. That would have been kind of a cool way to take care of that, but I guess I missed that opportunity. So... I try to save leveling up for when it's like truly needed, so I'm not just wasting the free health potion on nothing. Looks like there's a broad swing and a pressure plate there. I might be able to trigger that and use it to my advantage later. Like that. Now is one of those times that I use it. And we're going to go and increase the archery. And let's go increase our sneak as well. See, I want this one, like, really badly. So we're going to do backstab and muffled movement. I said muffled movement. There we go. No, muffled movement. Okay, follow me. Oh, it's done, I guess. Ah, uh, you're annoying me. Fine, we'll do it your way. But I'm just gonna warn you, you're not gonna like what I have in store for you. Too easy. Just not even fun. We could have a cool game of wits where we both stand back here and take pot shots at each other with our spells. But no, instead you have to run at me like a fiend moron. Alright. I didn't mean to pick that up. Did you guys see that atrocity of a YouTube rewind? 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 It was uh, pretty bad. Well, I really like seeing things like Jaden animations and whatnot in there. I think the animation channels really did need that uh, additional support from... That's a lot of them. From uh, YouTube. Because that was definitely cool seeing all those channels uh, get that kind of validation that they otherwise would not have received. So, and they kind of took a couple pop shots at ASMR, but whatever. No, there's something here. You guys are just blind and idiots. All of you. Okay, this I'm not gonna miss. Are you serious? What are the chances of her ducking her head like that moments before I shoot the arrow? Like seriously.
You're wrong, buddy. Stop it. Stop it. Turn around and go back. I promise you that you're wrong. And you're stupid. Alright, so, um... You have nothing fun. You've got gold at least. Did you guys see um, Obsidian's new game they're releasing next year? I can't remember the, the title of it. It's like Outer Outer Worlds or something like that. I'm pretty hyped for that. That's going to be cool. I can't wait to like put that in. Just like Cyberpunk 2077. Those two games are definitely on my, uh, my uh, play to, uh, soon to play games. No! What? Granted, I would have accepted your cries for help, but I'm sure that's what the other victims who you attacked, who are innocent, also said. Please don't kill me. I have a family, as you chuckle and steal their wealth. But no. Instead, what comes around goes around. And your execution was swift. I should do a Fallout New Vegas playthrough. Because that is, that's where I like really get into the whole, um, kind of vigilante justice kind of thing where I'm like, you know, purposely hunting down groups like the Powder Keggers and the Fiends and Cook Cook and all those guys and just slaughter. Because for me, when I play these games, it's either I'm like a really good character or I'm like really, really bad. There's never an in-between. But like when I'm bad, it's like morally, it's like, it's like lawful evil. I'm not bad just to be bad. I'm bad because I want to like power or money or something. Okay, that didn't flow properly, but whatever. I don't know. Like with uh, Fallout New Vegas, it's always like, um, I always take the yes man path when I'm like doing a free for fun playthrough. Um, so that way I own New Vegas just because, you know, why give everyone else the power? Why do all the work and give someone else the power when you could have all the power? <sighs> I don't know. And then with the NCR wanting the Brotherhood of Steel gone, I mean, I, I guess it's kind of cool that you can talk the NCR into working with the Brotherhood of Steel again. So that's kind of cool. Oh boy. Good night. This is a huge area to explore. Like, I'm kind of realizing this now that, like, there's a lot of, like, see, this is what I was talking about when I was, when I killed the bandit chief. Granted, I'm also looting their bodies, but at the same time, like, they deserve every, every, they deserve all of this.
magic, destruction, flames. And health. <sighs> Pain and suffering for everyone who deserves it. I should probably get a therapist. Of them because they deserve it. Yeah, that's why I have like a really weird respect for uh, Pikmin and Fallout 4. With his saying, uh, they deserved worse than death. Talking about using them for his paintings. I have like a huge respect for Pikmin and his gallery. Like, I know like what he does is like super messed up. But keep in mind, like, you know. He's inflicting a lot of pain to those raiders who, uh, I guess, yeah, they're raiders in Fallout 4, who, um, basically ruin the lives of people just trying to survive the atomic waste. Is that a bandit or is that a hunter? I can't tell. I really can't tell. Because I don't want to end up... They're bandits. Nope. Not bandits. Yes. Yeah. I'm here to help. I should have talked to them first. I will take back my family's castle. Fine. I was expecting more, though. You'd better be good. We met the help of the war. I was about to invade my home. Kidnapped by family. You ask a lot of questions for a mercenary. Just get in there and open the gate. I wish good luck. Okay, I kind of already did that. So, I mean, if you're gonna pay me, then I guess I'll just quickly run through real fast and do it all again. I mean, Ooh, good thing too, I missed the cheese. The cheese. Mm -hmm. Lots of dead bandits everywhere. No, 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 no. They all deserved it, every one of them. No, 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 no. Light, all the corpses right on fire. Da -na 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 -na. Turn their bodies into ashes. Da -na 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 -na. There are a lot of corpses in here. I didn't realize I killed this many of them. Oh well, they all had it coming. Is the door over here? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Cool. Easy. Oh, okay. Uh, no, no, I did not. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. He's gonna have a really nasty surprise. But, hey. Detect life.
powers? No, illusion? Alteration? Yeah. Cool. That'll come in handy. I just need to work on my uh, alteration magic, and then it will actually be useful. So, although I believe that I need to get my uh, screenshot for the episode, because I didn't do that like at all. So I think I'm going to go back in there and get us some pictures of some corpses and then uh, call it good. Specifically the, uh, the dinner scene where they're all like crowded around um, the mess hall, I guess. I don't know. I that was kind of a funny looking uh, area because we got like that dude that's like hanging over the countertop. If I can find it, that is. I must have already gone past it. Hmm. Darn. Oh, nope, here we are. Cool. We need more bodies in the thumbnail. More bodies. More bodies. More bodies. Let the bodies hit the floor. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe more bodies actually. You can never have no you can never have enough raider bodies or bandit bodies. Same thing. This is fun, in like a really messed up way. All right, you made it this far. I uh, I salute you for uh, you know watching me mess with these uh, poor corpses. All right, that's not gonna get a lot of thumbnail attention, but I just find that kind of funny. So that's probably gonna be the thumbnail. But um. So, I don't know what the title's gonna be yet. Probably like they started it or something like that. Just like a little joke. And then, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna post it to Reddit or not. I might. I might. Well, uh, this video is reaching the, uh, the 30 minute mark onto uh, length. So, I should probably cut it pretty soon. But on the upside, uh, Kingdoms and Castles um, will be returning again pretty shortly. But on the downside to that is that it might be coming to an end. Because once I hit 5,000 population, the series will come to a conclusion. Until more substantial updates are done to Kingdoms and Castles. So just in case I choose not to do the bodies, because, I mean, you know... There's a pretty good reason not to do the bodies. And... Gotta like angle this just right. You know, I should drop out of computer science and do, um... And do, uh... No, 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 no. Stop it. No, stop, 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 stop. Where is, uh, there we go. 
Okay, but apparently if you're visible, it'll still show the crosshair. So that kind of ruins that sneak shot there, but whatever, we'll just do that. Alright, well anyways, thank you for watching. I know this was a little unconventional for an ASMR video, but I tried to keep it as calm as possible while I uh, went through that camp and killed all those bandits. So hopefully you found that somewhat relaxing and didn't quite uh, abandon the video too early. If you did, you wouldn't be hearing this, but if you didn't, thanks for sticking around and have a fantastic night.